Uh, well, thank you, Chair. And I, I just want to acknowledge again and, and appreciate uh, the minister for, for meeting with my friend, Phil. I know that he has no resources, and it's a shame to have a, a veteran starving on our doorstep. So I, I really appreciate and, and hope that it's dealt with as urgently as it requires. I do have a question about the Veterans and Family Wellbeing Fund. My office has heard from a lot of smaller organizations that their applications for funding are being denied. And I am seeing that a lot of larger organizations are receiving often very significant amounts of, of money. I'm just wondering if uh, the minister could share with the committee how the decisions are made and who is making the decisions and if there's a clear criteria and how those decisions are being made. We certainly recognize, uh, Ms. Blaney, that um, the Veterans Wellbeing Fund is very much oversubscribed uh, in many cases. Uh, and yes, many organizations apply for those, those funds. One thing is for certain, however, if those organizations want the feedback as to why they didn't qualify, they can always reach out to the department and get a bit of information with respect to that is my understanding. Mr. Harris, perhaps, or, or Paul? Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Um, as the minister has indicated, there are, is an oversubscription uh, on the, the, the program, but it has also been very, very successful. And I would say that there's been a, uh, quite a mix of very small, focused, localized organizations and some larger uh, organizations that are working on a pan-Canadian basis. Um, really, the effort is about finding supports for key issues okay. around women's health, around homelessness, around... Um, um, uh, I only indigenous. have another less than a minute. Uh, so and there is a process, a very clear process, to okay. to come to terms on the uh, on all every application that comes. Thank in. you. So a proposal did come to the minister's office back in June from uh, a, a group that's working on a project called the Burns Way. Uh, they haven't heard anything back, and I have met with uh, the group, and it sounds like their their project really focuses on connecting veterans to veterans, and I think that that is something that is incredibly important. I'm just wondering, will they hear back, and I hope the minister will meet with them to discuss uh, how this might be a project that could move forward. I'll certainly ask my officials, uh, Ms. Blaney, to follow up on that application. I really don't have any of the details surrounding that application, but we'll certainly follow up. Thank you.